Hey, welcome back to Baird Squared. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as simplifying education technologies using the iPad. I'm gonna show you how to make an educational video using the screen recording feature, but converting it into a 16 by nine aspect ratio because most videos on YouTube are 16 by nine and most iPads, in fact, all iPads are four by three aspect ratio. So here's why you don't want to just record your screen and upload it to YouTube because I'll show you why. Have a look at this. This is what the screen recording looks like on an iPad. It's four by three. It fills up the iPad screen. However, on YouTube, it creates letterboxing. Now on YouTube, we have a 16 by nine aspect ratio because most laptops and most phones are 16 by nine. So this is why you don't want to just record the screen and put it up onto YouTube. So we're going to convert our screen recording to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it's super simple to do. So we need to set up the iPad for screen recording. If you pull down from the top right corner, you'll get the control center. Now go to settings. So we'll go to settings here, go to control center and go to customize controls. From here, I've already got it here. I'm just going to delete it. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see screen recording. Tap on the plus button and then you'll get screen recording in your options. Now, again, if we pull down from here, we'll see the screen recording button. Now, since that's all set up, this is what I want you to do. Just go to the internet and type in 16 by nine and download a picture that has a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So like this one here, and then we're gonna save it to your photo reel. This is the space on your screen that you wanna record your video in, okay? So make sure that when you're recording, you would mask off the area that you're not supposed to use. Now, I'm gonna be using my notes to um, write some uh, scribbles here for my video tutorial. Okay, whatever education tutorial that I'm making, but I wanna make sure that I don't pass the parts that I've masked out. This is what you're gonna do. Just go to that picture again. Okay, and start masking out using a piece of A4 paper to start masking out the area, okay? So I'm just gonna fold this in half. And let's just tear this off. This is what I've got, okay? So I've got one of the halves and then I folded it, so I'm just gonna lay it over the top. Now I'm gonna fold it according to this here. Here we go. Okay, I've got some masking tape. Don't use any aggressive tape like uh, elephant or duct tape because it will stick to your iPad. So here we go. I'm gonna stick this on. So I've masked off the area that I'm not gonna be using, but now I can't access uh, my control center. So I'm gonna take off some of this masking tape and I'm gonna start recording. Let's go back to my notes actually. And I'm gonna pull down and I'm gonna start my screen recording. So I've, I've just pulled it down from the top. I'm gonna to start my screen recording. Make sure when you start a screen recording, you hold down your uh, screen recording and you press on the mic. You wanna record the audio. So let's set this again. The screen recording has started and now I'm gonna to go to my notes and now I'm gonna start my um, tutorial for recording all of my notes, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna start writing here. So I'm gonna do, for example, we have a caterpillar. Is that what, that looks like more like a snail, doesn't it? <laughs> the caterpillar goes to a cocoon. This is my tutorial. I'm teaching people about nature, my students about nature. And then after a cocoon, we get a butterfly. Okay, we get a butterfly. Now you can see that I'm recording everything within this aspect ratio, this screen size. So we'll just call it cycle of life. So my cycle of life, I'm recording everything within this aspect ratio, within this screen size, okay? Alternatively, I would suggest just mask a length of string, okay, or thread across the screen so you still have access to the top and the bottom of the screen in case you wanna change your controls. If you can get some string, elastic, okay, or even a thread, what you can do with this is you can actually put it on the top and the bottom. So if I go like this and I put it on the top, and then I put the other one on the bottom, like that, <laughs> this is brilliant, look at this. So now I've, I've got, nothing gets in the way, I can still pull this down, I can still start recording, and if I go to my notes for example, I can still change uh, the pen color, you know, highlight this in red, uh, maybe go into put some shading. You get what I'm saying? So I think this is a fantastic option for you to do. I think it's it's way better just to have this string and you don't need to waste resources like sellotape and paper. Um, just a bit of string like this you can keep forever. Now the screen recording obviously saves in your photos gallery. 
so here that's my screen recording and you see if this if it plays back the screen is recorded in a four by three aspect ratio i want to change that to 16 by 9 so here's the magic this is all you need to do okay it's very simple i'm going to select it i'm going to go to edit and from edit i'm going to come down to the crop and fit okay and then here I have some aspect ratios. I can click on um, select these. And at the bottom, you can see that I can select whatever aspect ratio I want from freeform to square to 16 by 9, 10 by 8. And there's a few more. Okay. So the original is my 4 by 3. I want it 16 by 9. And then because you've masked off the top and the bottom, you know that you haven't written in those areas. So I'm going to say done. And it's going to start saving the video. Look, it starts start saving the video within that aspect ratio. So that's for free using the native Photos app and the screen recording feature. And of course, for the educational video, you can choose whatever application you want to use, whether it's GoodNotes or Notability um, or whether it's whatever app you want to use. Just keep your notes, okay, your annotations within the borders of a 16 by 9 screen. So when you upload it to YouTube, essentially what you've done, you've maximized the screen real estate. They can see it in 16 by 9. So look, if I show you on YouTube, if I go to one of my videos, every one of these are 16 by 9. Uh, it doesn't create this letterboxing on the side, which is not, you know, it's not pleasant. Uh, and you really reduce the amount of space that you have on the screen. I hope that helps in your endeavor to create educational videos. Drop me a like and please subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm creating a lot of content uh, teaching with the iPad. In fact, there's a whole playlist that you can check out uh, on videos that I've put together. Uh, of course, we do math tutorials as well. So please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.